As we can see the narrow plates manage to absorb the kinetic energy of the 85mm projectile, losing its velocity at nearly half of the distance. Taking into account the high explosive filler of the projectile, the resultant shock wave inside the turret side would cause damage to certain components. The only plausible way a T-3485 could destroy an Abrams would be to achieve flanking fire at a 90-degree angle at a range of 500 meters or less. Realistically, it would never happen. The Abrams would spot the T-34 at 3,000 meters and fire a shot with 100% first-round hit and blow its turret off.